I printed out two copies of the minutes. Does anybody want a copy of the minutes from last time? No, thank you. Good. I mean, everybody <laughs> looked at it online. They're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a copy. <laughs> Todd is always the first one to read them. I am? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must not have much to do. <laughs> <laughs> well. <Wow. laughs> <laughs> and Mark is second. <laughs> 29th, 29th. That, yes. That you know that by the feedback? Yes. <laughs> Todd's feedback is usually same, depending on what on I send out, either the afternoon or the evening, uh -huh. <laughs> and, and Mark's is shortly thereafter or the next morning, and then everybody else kind of follows along. Todd, have you <coughs> anybody? Uh, Speculate as to why we have so many chestnut trees around. No, I haven't, but I've noticed it myself. Yeah. I saw noticed one today on Hale Road it no. Yeah, Hale Road extension. It's at least four inches in diameter. Wow. Yeah. Really? That's the biggest one. It's got I've some heard. burrs on it. It's producing? Yeah, well they're burrs. I don't know if they might be blind. There, there might not be any seeds in it. Huh. But that means it flowered. Grab some, yeah. Well, yeah, um, and they fall down. Because <laughs> I'm still seeing everything three inches and up is dead. Yeah. And there's the little yeah. suckers around it, and as soon as they get that big around, then they die. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's a lot of them up on uh, the trails on the far side of Mount Jeff, you know, quite a few of them up that way but they're all they don't just like that the on the yeah. state forest I mean, north yeah. north of yeah 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 you go along muzzy ridge and then down copper mine and there's a lot of them in that stretch i uh, found a second one on our property i always remember dad i knew where one was because as long as i can remember he always pointed it out mm -hmm. to me but now i found my own on the yeah <laughs> Did you name it? <laughs> <Right. Okay. laughs> Chester. <laughs> you All right. So we'll get some direct sun. It'll we faster. have a quorum, seven out of eight uh, present. The only one missing is Mark, so I'll call oh. the meeting to order. Um, and we'll start with the uh, minutes. Minutes? How about minutes? Uh, that uh, Tim sent around. Comments, questions, feedback? I thought they were great. <laughs> <laughs> Rick says they're great. Anything else? Second. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't move a, uh, <laughs> motion to approve as submitted. So moved. Second. Second. So uh, moved and second to accept as submitted. Uh -huh. All in favor? Aye. 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 Pass unanimously. Okay. And just um, to let everybody know that I I do submit these to the town clerk. Okay. Every month. Oh, good. I've submitted them several times over the past six months, and, and they, they don't get, get posted. posted. <laughs> so. Well, I think yeah. From here on out, I think. Because I just I, I just looked today because I mm. uh, yesterday because I was submitting uh, Tim's uh, or the ones from the last meeting that uh, got approved and there wasn't anything posted there for 2024 mm. except uh, I think there was one from January. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> room for improvement <coughs> then, huh? Well, we've gone through three town clerks and exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. and the, yeah. and the she can't do it, get to everything. They are else, on the on the on the open space file in the drive so um, but mm. that doesn't help the citizens public. at large no. so I s dropped Mel another note today I just resent the note I sent her a month ago and uh, 
ask her if she could post them. So, we'll so see. she would find the others in emails to the town clerk. You she doesn't right have to. I sent them all oh, again. Of course you did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Today, just clarifying that's what those that. chem engines are like. Because that's what I would have done. <laughs> I, well, last month I sent six of them because there wasn't anything up there yeah. for the year. And, and but they're still Today there. I sent seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully we will uh, see them soon. Well, yes? Uh, we can move on from that, I guess. Mm -hmm. The uh, treasurer's report. Ah, the treasurer's report. In the open space <coughs> donation, $498.34. That $50 finally got in there. Um, in the Rider Fund, $4,125.32. And in Hubbardston Trust, $18,916.96. But in new business, after we're done with our agenda, we need to um, deal with a couple of invoice reimbursements. So everybody will have one of these for later, just to have the numbers in front of you. Okey doke. All right. Um, old business. Um, um, uh, any uh, thoughts? I know Tim has uh, been busy with his uh, side business. Any thoughts on Hubbardston Hikes? I'll just keep that uh, on the shelf for the time being. I have yeah. some idea. Oh, good, good. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. Um, <laughs> if anybody fall, follows our fall flower blooms or late summer fall the gentians are currently blooming <laughs> and <laughs> i'm the, what are the gentians huh? gentians and some of them are uncommon and even rare and i found two species both on east quabbin land trust preserves or very close depending on how you look mm -hmm. at the borders. But regardless, we have um, what appears to be the narrow-leafed gentian, which is what this one is. And you might see that they're a little bit more, uh, they're, they're not, a can, they, they kind of vase out and in. They have a waste hmm. to, the, to the flower a little bit. Let's see which ones. How do you spell that? I'm just curious. G-E-N. T I A N. Yeah, I came close. And there are, um, <laughs> I think this is the narrow leafed, because you can see the narrow leaves. Not great in this picture, but this is the first ones that bloom this year. And the other type we have are a, uh, another type of bottle gentian called uh, closed gentian. And there's two species that are very close to each other. One quite rare and the other one mostly common. This one actually, they said it was uh, rare in the native plant trust said that's rare, that one. And I actually found quite a few of them along the Ware River here in Hubbardston mm. in Princeton. Mm. Um, and looked for them other places and haven't found them. But the other ones that are, and I, they're just starting to bloom so I took pictures today and that doesn't have the narrow waist uh -huh. like the other ones did. Huh. But this is either Clausa, uh, closed gentian, or Andrusi, which is the rare one, Andrews gentian. So I've got someone maybe coming out this weekend and I'm going to show them those and th they're a you know, a real expert in the area versus I'm just tripping over these things. But to tie this into Hubbardston Hikes, on the, a week from tomorrow, 6th or 7th, whatever that is, people help me. 6th. Six. Six. So oh, tomorrow, the 6th. A yes. week from, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take a small group from the Land Trust out to see them and if anybody wants to join us, that'll be Friday morning at 8.30 at Hidden Meadow parking area. We won't go up to the meadow because they're all right around the parking area. <laughs> and I know this because I transplanted you, them last year. I remember you doing that. Put in the yeah. access road and parking area. 
to get them out of there. So uh, I guess technically, well, we won't say any more uh, about any technical things. But I will take you <laughs> to you see. Did you dug them up? I will. <laughs> well, I had to relocate. Well, I relocated them because, you know. They were going to the, destroy The contractor was driving up unloading <laughs> his equipment, and I said, got to get these moved yeah. or else they're gone. So, uh, so well apparently they uh, they do move okay. <laughs> there were <laughs> no, I mean, I, I yeah, yeah, like I, lady I, slippers do. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Not yeah. that I haven't tried. But <laughs> <you know. laughs> well, we transplanted six of them, and all six survived. Oh, that's good. Transplanted news. another one that I found uh, a month or sometime this summer. It's surviving and blooming, which kind of wow. surprised me. I thought the shock would do it in um, but the good thing is both species are blooming now and really close to each other so I can take people out cool. and if you want to hike you can go on the Mid-State Trail and see them I'll take people there and I'll take them uh, to Hidden Meadow and then maybe to Henry's Grove I only have one plant identified in Henry's Grove so you know I'll probably take them to the easier ones and then who wants to walk more? We're going to go out. We're going to find turtle heads. We'll find more gentians. Uh, card cardinal flowers are kind of on, uh, mm -hmm. sort of past. They've bloomed very early in July mm -hmm. this year. Earliest I can recall them blooming. Mm -hmm. so, so, anybody wants to do a Hubbardston yeah. hike mm -hmm. next Friday morning, 830, meet yeah. at Hidden Meadow. Thank you. So, will you notify Nate so we can send it out to his list. It's too late to get it in the paper. In the newspaper. Yeah. yeah. Well, the trouble with hikes and flowers is that the, the newspaper has its schedule and the flowers <laughs> have their schedule mm -hmm. and never the twain shall meet. So yeah. I just go and we'll make notification as best we can. Mm -hmm. The newspaper is a nice to have, you know, but it's very difficult to, to get it in the Barry Gazette because their deadline is Tuesday yeah, we can, before no, we can Monday it. Monday at noon. Oh, but we can uh, uh, do a, a local. We can thing. do Nate though. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that'll be plenty of time. And I think Mark said that uh, it, um, um, blank me on her first name. Ms. Young, Katie, Katie, Katie Young has to be notified in order to get it on the oh, oh the electronic sign. board yeah okay but maybe you get too many people no no well th that's a very good Probably point not. because yeah. well <laughs> we haven't yet <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah. well we i've been taking people inside, out so. and mm -hmm. now there's a, a mini little following i don't know how mm. people will do on a friday morning mm. but one thing we do have two very small parking areas one can accommodate three cars if people park properly. The other one can accommodate two, actually three, but you got to daisy chain it. So I normally notify the police and put out a sign that says, park this side. They don't yeah. want us parking on both sides yeah. of the mm -hmm. road. Yeah. So the side of the road that we've been using, and it's been successful when we get pretty big crowds with the land trust. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've had 30, 40, up to 40 people out there Good. Wow. and uh, yeah, well we it was a big work day and we notified you Rick was out there on one of the big ones yep. when we were cutting in the new trail last a little little less than a year ago but anyhow I'll I'll take care of that I notify the police and I put a sign up hmm. Good. so we keep the gendarmes happy <laughs> um I have uh, uh, plans, tentative plans for uh, hikes in October, November, and December. Oh, great! Uh, October. Look at my notes. The Mid State Trail and Brigham Road, not to be confused with Brigham Street. Oh uh, yes. Um, cool. But starting uh, this one would start at the main parking lot for the uh, Berry Falls area. Oh, that would um, be good. I'd like to get <coughs> over that. And that's a, that's a loop. I think it's four and a half or five and a half miles. 
um, November in response to requests, multiple requests, we'll go down what's called Wacky Lane, again starting from oh, good. Uh, Berry Falls. And somebody was on a walk down there with somebody that knew the history of that. Uh, yeah, we no. know. Oh, yeah. right. Is that Joyce Green? No. No, no. It, was a bar it was the Berry Historical Society. Lucianne oh. Allen spoke on that. Yeah. Uh, what's she's, her name? She's Lucy Allen. Yeah, she, she spoke on great. the Barry Falls Village. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's phenomenal. Is that the one that did the presentation yes. over yes. there? Yes, yes. She's, she's phenomenal. History. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. She went on for an hour describing all the different houses and what the <laughs> succession was within the house and why it moved and all that other good stuff. Uh. She went on for an hour and knew all the names and had no notes. <laughs> 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 and, and, took, and we went down to the mill that's below the yep. current dam. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christmas. So I thought if if people want uh, coming back up from Lackey Lane, it's pretty easy to go down to where the Christmas mill was. was. Yes. Oh, good. Um, yeah, and that, that's got that real interesting thing with the the uh, uh, the underground uh, culvert mm -hmm. done, yeah. you know, a hundred years ago. So it's a stone <laughs> culvert because they diverted the water into the wheel then it didn't go back into the thing. It got diverted around underground and back in because it took a bend there. So the river takes a bend, came in underground and back into the river. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And you can see the, the opening of that uh, culvert, that underground culvert. So that, that'll be November um, after the leaves are off. So from Lackey Lane, you'll be able to have some good views of the the Ware River down below. It's, it's pretty scenic, and we, by November the water should be higher, so you, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you can hear it. It's nice. Um, and for December, to finish off the year on a high note, I thought we'd do a short bushwhack to what I believe is the highest point in Hubbardston, which is the top of Canesto Hill. Oh, cool. Um, And do you have uh, days of the week that you're planning on? Uh, November and December will be on Sunday, so we don't okay. disturb any hunters. I, I was that was going <laughs> to be my. <laughs> but I don't have I don't have specific dates yet. Okay. All right, no, know. but knowing Sunday is really helpful. Great. That's and, great. And um, I had hoped that. Either Bob or Mark would lead a walk to where the accessible trail is going to be. Sure. Maybe it's still premature to do that because we got we got awarded the grant. No, um, um, that can happen anytime. That'll be a good thing. Yeah. Well, that'll that'll be a good one, maybe in the winter because that's one place where we have good parking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get the word out to the town. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. To try to. Yeah. yeah. So we can call that a preview of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The uh, here's what you voted trail. for. Yes. That's for 2025. Wow. And we we are part of the match is our labor hours to clear, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, get me out there sooner versus later. There you go. <laughs> With your new chainsaw. That's right. Oh, that's. How did you know I got it? I know today? everything. We know everything about you. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it, but that's okay. Okay. It's on Details. the town website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I call it my dirty, <laughs> my dirty little secret. <laughs> I bought, I actually own a chainsaw, uh, a battery operated one. And they're not that bad. No, they're not. I got one and that's great. People, you know, not quite sure about them. Well, I'm great. sure. All right. That is excellent, guys. Um, Invoices as part of old business. I've had that on the agenda, but nothing that could be taken any action on. Uh, I finally got a hold of Walt Warrens. I said, Walt, you do invoices? He said, no. <laughs> 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 he said, all right, well, I'm going to submit one for you. And I actually had it printed out, but I didn't bring it. <laughs> but I'll get it to Susan. Yeah, and so you know where to find it. <laughs> on that, I can tell you what uh, will be on that. 
Uh, two loads of sandy fill for uh, 400. One load of uh, loam screenings, which is the rocky stuff, for 200. Uh, so the sandy fill is 200 each, and that all includes uh, trucking and stuff, all in that number. So his prices are unbelievably low. And then I also had him put on there uh, a load of uh, screen loam. Uh, and the screen loam is a little bit more. That's 400, including delivery. And so he's going to do that uh, uh, tomorrow, very soon. But I wanted to get it on there so we don't keep him waiting because he's it's been a couple months and he hasn't got any money on the other stuff. Um, so that's the status with that. Um, and uh, I think we're already all set. We already approved uh, that we were going to uh, get the materials for that. So I don't think we need a vote for that. Okay did we did we decide what uh, account we were going to take that out no, of? No, we the did time? not decide that. We put that off to tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because the other two will be tonight, so we have our totals that might help us decide better. Um, well, we will have our totals on the big one. Yeah, and what the other thing we hadn't decided that came up. At, what's that? What would be the total on that, General? Uh, the Walt uh, the Walt Lawrence thing is a thousand dollars. Yeah, about exactly. Um, well, uh, what came up at the last meeting was uh, it, it sort of tied into minutes and stuff like that. Was if we use the rider, we'd like to reimburse. Uh, we could use the uh, Hubbardston. What's it called? Trust? Preservation. Uh, Pres trust. Yeah, Pres that's the largest, but we yeah. have to go through another hoop. Oh. To get it accomplished, but I don't. I well, I think what we would want to do, and so here's my thoughts on that. Um, uh, that's a big chunk out of that four thousand, which I mean, there's still three thousand in there, so it's mm -hmm. not trivial. Uh, uh, not a small amount. Um, or we could take it out of the uh, the eighteen. Thoughts? I say we ask them. Ask we them. ask. Yeah. We ask the uh, rec department. For the big amount, the, yeah. Because otherwise, okay, take it out of the trust me. That's hay money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, exactly. You know, All right. Okay. I, I, I will just say that <coughs> the that committee is under new management, so they may not have a clue though that this is part of what they need to do. Whatever, we'll find oh, out. Oh, I think they know. It's really. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they've never given us a problem in the past right, about right. reimbursing. I, I would hope they wouldn't. But so we'll work that out, Bob. Then I'll, we'll still need that invoice. Okay. And then I'll need to pass it on to do? Parks and Rec. But I really yeah, I, I can email you. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. What's that? Oh, I thought that was the invoice. Oh, it is the invoice. Is that the total? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And down at the bottom, <laughs> I made a, a note that it's I yep. submitted under Burnshot Hills. No but it was submitted on behalf you know of what? Anybody in town would know him, but the new folks don't. You know what I mean? It's not, we'll get it done. Okay. <laughs> so, do we need to formally vote that? Yes. Yeah. That it's coming from Hubbardson Trust. All right. Somebody want to make a motion to that effect? I, I, I move we request the approval from Parks and Rec yep. to to uh, to reimburse. Burnshire Hills for the fill up at Gates um, from the Harborson Preservation Trust. Second, with the modification, it's for that Walt contractor Lawrence. put in. Yes, Walt okay. Lawrence. The Say Walt Lawrence, Lawrence instead of Burnshire Hills. So, well, uh, no, actually, no, he's right. It's I'm going to pay him. Yeah, oh, you so are. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, okay. yeah, but but mention that contractor's name. Because so well, I'm going to submit a. Oh, yeah, yeah but in the I motion. Can't, oh, right. You can't That's change the name of the the right. invoices invoice. behind right. this. No, right. Right. Yeah. And so I did put a note on the invoice yes, that did. this was to be a repayment for Walt Lawrence. How about how about your invoice for the lumber? Oh, it's oh, right that's here. On the, that's I, on we were going to do that later in new business because oh, it wasn't on the agenda. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that. That's why everybody agenda. has this. I didn't know you had an invoice. Time off. Handy we, dandy. We sheet. got this under control. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, Tim, he Tim uh, did submit uh, his invoice for the material that we, got we, used. We didn't vote on that, did yeah. we? No, no. We, no. no. We, we still have a motion on the floor. Oh, so I'm just introducing that's another invoice. That did get submitted to Susan, so yeah, but we still need to decide which account it comes from. But we can do it now or later. I don't care. 
as well, long let's as Let's do it now. I mean, okay. Well, shouldn't we vote on the... Yeah, let's get that one wrapped up. We need to vote on the motion to get the take the money out of the... Take your invoice out of the uh, Parks and Rec. Oh, I thought we just did that. No, we never voted. We, we never voted. We made a motion and they seconded it. We didn't take the vote. Oh. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> okay. So that would make... $17,960 <laughs> left in the trust. Okay. But it, it makes sense to take the big amount out of there, don't, don't you think? Yeah. Then? So yeah. that's done. So that leaves, I mean, we could still go to the trust for the amount of $152.44 for the um, fungus, fungicide. Fungicide? Fungicide. Yeah, okay. So um, it's $153 basically. And it was used on the Ryder proper, I mean, the Je Mount Jeff. Yeah. So we can use Ryder money for that. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, other invoice that was submitted is for the late um, the lumber, but that was also used at Mount Jeff. Yep. Correct? Yes, and that's $103.80, so basically $104. So we're looking at basically 250 total. But how do we want to take it out of what? And we can take it out of Rider, or we could take one out of the expense. I don't know. What would you recommend? I I try to guard the Rider because we have not fi figured out a way to replenish that yet. Uh. You know, I mean, it is specifically just for Mount. Je that's the only one that's got that kind of limitation on it. Mm. And we have complete control over that. Yeah, we don't have to mother may I on that. So it's a little more accessible. So, but maybe we should hit the um, open space donation account for the hundred one. I don't know. It's up to you guys. What do you think? I mean, we have the money. Do we want to keep all the rider money from the r on uh, <coughs> connect to the rider property? But do, then, do we have um, something significant we see in the future for Mount Jeff? that we can specifically target. What's coming down the pike at Mount Jeff, do we think? Didn't we talk picnic tables or something? I don't know. Uh, new, uh, new loop. That's probably mostly stuff for, for next spring. That, yeah, I did have, I didn't uh, carry that forward <coughs> into my notes uh, as I have been carrying it. I don't then think then I maybe think. save the Oh, yeah, I did. I said the potential candidates. Big thing. Uh, maybe. Were picnic tables, potential fencing around them, work on the inside, uh, of the foundation so there's a number two or three things that would be nice to do up there to finish off the work that we've been doing because it's you've made significant strides yeah and uh you know we we clean that up but the, if you don't clean up the basement then it's just going to sort of tend yeah. to yeah. get all overgrown again mm -hmm. and so we, we talked about getting a load of stone maybe too if we after we cleaned it up well what i would do and then if we do get it cleaned up uh put down uh, a, a layer of uh, HDB fabric, mm. heavy duty ground cloth if you would, uh, and then put the stone down yep. on top mm. of that. Mm -hmm. It'd be pleasant to walk in there and it would be uh, better looking to have uh, just a, an inch of crushed stone on top of it versus just the, the fabric and that fabric is really tough, tense, right? tough stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that would block the stuff from coming up again. Well, but we that's a that's a project for next spring. So, if we took the basically 250, the total of these out of the expense, we'd be left with 250, and that's okay. I don't see any big big things coming out of that that I know of, and I guess that's what it's for when we have expenses to reimburse or mm -hmm. whatever. So that's my suggestion. But since I'm the money tracker, I don't want to make the motion. You guys decide. So the expen expense account, how does it get replenished? Just when people want to give Donate. donations. And that's okay. So really, the rider and the expense. Are sort of the same thing, but one is limited. And right. one started off at around, was it 5000 I I was going to research that, and I will. 5200 I think. So, well, mm. yeah. But, you know, if you keep chunking away at it and don't right. put more in, that's the, so. So. What do you think? That covers it, and we could get that done right away. This other one may take a little longer, depending on the meeting schedule of Parks and Rec. But 
once we get it in the works. Parts? No care. <laughs> no care. I'm, I move to take it out of the open space uh, expense account. Second. All in favor? Yep. Aye. Okay. I, I, I like that <coughs> approach because uh, rather than taking it out of the preservation trust, when you go to Parks and Rec, you can point out that we had other expenses that were not taken out of the account we share with them. Mm. Mm. I just will need your signature before we leave tonight. So okay. I'll, I'll get you. And <coughs> one, uh, since we're on the invoice, thing, one last invoice um, that I, this is the one that I printed and didn't bring. But that was uh, another burn shirt uh, invoice, and that was to uh, repay for the bully tool, and oh, then I also, uh, since I was doing an invoice, I put in for a uh, tank of diesel for the tractor, which is 16 gallons. So. Which is very and fair that, for sure. And so that was that would be 56.80 for the uh, fuel and 49.08 for the uh, thing. So oh, that's about 105.88. So we can't take that out of Ryder, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it out of it. Well, we could. No, what was it? Oh, the bully thing is a general tool. It's yeah. not just Mount Jeff. So I guess No, that's, that's, a, that's a trail. That's a general yeah, yeah, thing. I, yeah. And so wasn't the, the right. fuel, really, because I so did, uh, the, uh, did work up at Mount Jeff, but then went down and did work at uh, Culvert on Canesto Brook, where I get attacked by a grouse, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still down there, by the way. Are you way. still grousing about that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I move we uh, reimburse Burntshire Hills for the tractor fuel and the bully tool out of the open space account. Out of the donation expense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. Done with invoices. Um, I hope that's it. <laughs> that's <not> it. <laughs> that is. Okay. So this, I'll need to call that, right? That but one? that's part of it. Yeah, you can have that. Okay. I just didn't print the other part of it. Oh, okay. Has, but you can the, send it, it to me. Yeah, I'll just send you. Okay, the whole send me the together. Um, yeah, I'll send you both. Okay. Um, the land priority group. I even I finally changed that on my uh, agenda <laughs> form here. It only <laughs> took a, a year. Um, group. <laughs> uh, we had a uh, a very good meeting today. Uh, relative to getting prepped for our educational uh, land preservation educational night, I guess is a good way to phrase it. Um, and so uh, the group that uh, Tim, Rick, and I uh, have uh, are on part of um, added uh, Anna Wilkins, let me get my list of people here. Um, so who got invited today uh, was Anna, and Anna from uh, North County Land Trust. Uh, she's, uh, this is her thing. She's changed her role at uh, North County, and so land preservation is her uh, major focus, I believe, in her new position, uh, uh, as opposed to being what the overall lead or whatever she was there. She executive was the executive director. director. Yeah. She's now the uh, director of conservation and climate. Yep. Um, so Anna helped orchestrate it. We used her Zoom account because we had people from our, quite a few different locations. Uh, so they used the uh, North County uh, uh, Zoom account to hold uh, the meeting. Uh, and so attending the Zoom meeting was Julia Fitzpatrick from Mount Grace, uh, James, what's James' last name? You got McCarthy. There? James McCarthy from Fish and Game. Uh, he was, uh, it's the first time I've had any uh, association with him, but he was, uh, he's good, very good. <coughs> uh, Felicia Bakai uh, from DCR Watershed. So we had two DCR, DCR folks, uh, then uh, Bob, Tim, and Rick, and then Emily Molino was also from North County was also in on it. So it was a good group. So the, the purpose of that was just to 
Uh, we're working on a flyer to send out to uh, quite a few folks in town, uh, the people that are on Chapter 61 and people with uh, like 20 acres or more. Is that our limit or something? Uh, uh, 25, something uh, like that. Uh, people that have enough land to be maybe potentially interested in this uh, getting educated on conservation and preservation uh, approaches. Um, and then uh, uh, Rick's working on a flyer for that meeting to, and to send out to people to uh, appraise them of uh, what that it, what it's all about. Uh, and then there'll be a couple other things we're gonna do, emails and stuff like that, but the major thing is uh, the flyer that uh, Rick is working on. So that gave us enough information relative to who might speak at it, the topics that would get covered, et cetera, that would go into the flyer and what the meeting is all about. Uh, the meeting will be held sometime in mid-November. Initially, we were talking the latter part of October, but people felt it was a little tight, so we moved that to mid-November. Uh, and then people had various actions to follow up. Uh, it was brought up that maybe we should invite uh, uh, Phillipston, because a lot of the properties are interested in border uh, a pretty significant uh, fish and wildlife area uh, just right across the other side of the Burnshire River in Phillipston. There's a big area uh, that's all protected land. And uh, James was really uh, focused on that kind of stuff. He's already working on some parcels to expand that. So he's he was really focused on the effort that uh, we're also doing. So um, let's see. And talked about uh, different uh, grant uh, potential. Uh, one of them was called What Landscape uh, Con Conservation. Was that the right title? Was. Uh, uh, Landscape Partnership? Yes, yeah. lands, Landscape Partnership, Landscape Conservation Partnership Grant. Yeah, uh, and there's, uh, there's a lot of money in that, uh, but it takes a lot of acreage, but we're talking about quite a bit of acreage, so uh, there was a, it was a very constructive meeting, and so we have enough information uh, when Tim, Rick, and I get back together to uh, fill out. Uh, Rick has done a skeleton of the trifold pamphlet that will be sent around uh, and now we have enough information to fill that out what the agenda is going to look like what the topics are going to look like so that was good um, we talked about uh, where it's going to be held and uh, did we the uh, Anna felt that this place would be adequate uh, we thought that she thought that we get the Rick's counting the number of chairs here right mm -hmm. now uh, that uh, if, some, if we could, if we could uh, accom accompany uh, uh, thirty to forty people, that would be more than enough. And yeah, there's like forty chairs, forty-two chairs. Well, Claudia could answer that question. Yeah, and Claudia can, and, and I think there's more chairs because when we went that to that meeting Wednesday here, Wednesday morning meeting, there were about fifty people. If they yeah. really started to add some chairs, but yeah. yeah. It was it was comfortable, a little tight, but it's okay. Yeah, and the only problem is that the people that were presenting were sitting over here, so the yeah, people that are back the there couldn't see it. So we'd have to. But if we present over there, everybody can see. There we go. Everybody can see. Yeah. 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 Problem solved. Um, uh, we suggested to invite. Uh, I mentioned Phillipson, but also Templeton. So there's the, the, the a lot of activity there, and that some of the uh, property that James was interested in, I think part of it, was, or maybe all of it, was in Templeton. I'm not sure if he identified specifically, but he it didn't. was on the Burnshirt River. He was really focused, fishing, uh, fishing game was really in focused on this uh, landscape partnership <laughs> in the, in the Burnshirt River area. So it was a, a good meeting, so things are moving along very well with that. Question, Bob. Yeah. That landscape partnership, you said, sig significant amount of property. What kind of? 500 acres. Okay. That's a significant and amount. And contiguous numbers. and not interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a few See. stipulations on it. The the not interrupted gets a little bit fuzzy. Well, <laughs> and contiguous, it's not supposed I to understand. Anna said it's uh, theoretically not supposed to have a road breaking it up. 
but mm -hmm. there's roads and there's roads. Mm -hmm. And so if animals can cross it pretty freely, then I think there's some wiggle room for James to orchestrate uh, things like that. Route two some would be a different story. Mm -hmm. That's a major obstruction. Yeah, so, so, so Phillipston in the Berkshire River watershed yep. there, you know, they have a road that's not maintained, but I think it's still a public oh, road. That's uh, Williamsville. It's Williamsville it's Road. There? But yeah. it's obviously different because every all these towns have got, uh, everybody's got a Barry Road. Everybody's right. got a Hubbardston right. Road. Mm -hmm. Everybody's, so it was for the people over in Phillipston that were going to Williamsville, so they got oh, a Williamsville Road. that makes Road. sense because that's <laughs> sure. where it goes. Yeah. Okay. So that ends <laughs> up near uh, Queen Lake or up off of 101. Yeah, I, I took it one time and broke my truck in the process. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had a similar experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty rough yeah. at any rate. Um, uh, Rick or Tim, want to add anything to that? I think so. <coughs> I think you got it. Yep. So that was good. Um, back to the agenda. Um, uh, I've to the town master plan, and I've sent notes out uh, requesting what's going on in that. And all, uh, all I know is that essentially Nate uh, uh, and Chris, 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 uh, are taking care of that. So I'm not going to bug him anymore. I think we saw last week that they were both pretty busy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, Gates Foundation uh, to do this year. Uh, we want to finish up, so we'll get that loam up there and then grade that. Um, uh, Tim and I are going to do a little inspection, and if I get a tractor up there, maybe we can get up. If we do see something that we think ought to come down, uh, then I can get up there with a the, the tractor or something <laughs> to take that down. Um, that's it. Uh, Beaver Pond, that will be coming up in the not too distant future before it gets really cold so we can get the, something installed out there because if the beavers come back then you got to go through the same thing that we just went through. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I, I'll get down, uh, Seth and I will get down with that uh, bully tool and that'll help drop it another six to eight inches because there's a little pool just on the far side of the culvert where there isn't normally a pool because the folks that have been down there right behind the culvert it's pretty flat for about 20 feet and broad uh, but then it necks down there's a good sized rock and it necks down to a, an area that's only about this wide and that's where this it's what prompted wanting that bully tool to get in and rake out and pull the stuff out of there and that would get rid of that pool which would in turn lower the water on the far side so that's on the, you're talking about a narrow spot on the downstream side? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh, uh, I would have asked Mark uh, how he's doing. The, uh, uh, so that's it on uh, the beaver pond stuff. The uh, open space plan. I was just going to ask Mark if he's got the uh, the signatures from the uh, Hubbardson, other Hubbardson boards. So you can get that taken. Uh, ask Mark about that next time. Any update on the Mass Trail Grant? That's a Mark thing. Uh, and then I'm going to keep it on the thing because it's going to be a fall project. So the uh, our new trail loops, trails, uh, uh, will be a fall project. People can start thinking about a name. Uh, for those. Uh, we had talked about the one thought on the one that comes up by quote unquote Jassy's Meadow. We could maybe call that Jassy's Trail or something. I mean, so the, the meadow was gone, but we might, could name a the trail after or something yeah. like that. Jassy's Walk. Jassy's Walk. There you go. Um, but at any rate, then, then we need a name for the little cutoff that goes from behind the chimney to Gates Hill. Uh, get a couple names there, so we don't have to decide that tonight, but we do need a couple names. And uh, I've got 
the leftover signs from when uh, Hunter did his new signs and Mark did those signs. So oh. I kept, I don't know, I've got three or four of the old signs there that could be repurposed to... Hmm. I got one of those too. Mark those So trails. there's a name on them? There's a name on them, but you can... Just yeah, yeah, no, I got one of those too. Yeah, just fill those in and wood burn the other side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It. It's the one we've got that's in the garage. The price, Whatever, the price is right. Chimney. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, you, when you repurposing stuff like that, I <laughs> uh, did a little bit of cleaning up in the, uh, the back entrance of the house, and I came across this bag, and I meant to bring it to yeah. the meeting tonight, and I, I uh, it's a can small canvas bag about this big, and I, I picked it up, and said, boy, that's heavy, what's in that? And there's probably 500 Hubbardson State Forest Decal thing. Tags <laughs> no. that, that I that I inherited uh, or aluminum from uh, long Jassy. from Jassy. Uh, wow. Oh, and, and also in the bag, I mentioned uh, at the last meeting uh, relative to trail work and the dangers of some of these rocky areas and a hoof a horse potentially getting its hoof mm. stuck, and mm. one did, and uh, one of the uh, ladies. The young ladies that was down on her hands and knees digging out a, a trench when they fixed up the uh, part of the trail on Gates Hill, and she came out with a horseshoe. That horseshoe was in there. I'll bring that to the. I meant to bring mm. the bag and the horseshoes. So that horseshoe was there, <laughs> and then there was a calendar from 1992. 1992. It has a lot of. It was a fundraiser for the playground. Oh. Rainbows and playgrounds. And so it had a lot of historical pictures that folks would have wanted <laughs> well, to see. Well, that would see. be interesting. Yeah, I'll yeah. drop that off. I'll drop hmm. the whole thing off to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not the whole thing. That's all right. <laughs> so I don't know if those tags though. are still... I don't know what well, they're it. using plastic now, but... I'm sure yeah, these are all are aluminum. Some, yeah. There, there's, there's still aluminum ones out in the woods. The squirrels have an all So I don't know if we need any more of those, or Mark would probably have a say in that. So I'll see if I can bring that to the next I meeting. I tell you, on the the uh, boundary between the Malone property and the State Forest to the, the north or northeast, mm -hmm. northeast um, yeah. there's I didn't see any tags when I was out there the other yeah. day. Well, so, so maybe that's the spot. That'd there. be a good place. <coughs> to yeah. Be. All right. Uh, so that was. That was a, actually that was, would have been a little excerpt into new business. Um, other new business stuff, uh, trail maintenance needs. Uh, a solution for that wet area on Gates Hill. Uh, Tim, Steph, and I have uh, all been out there, um, and Rick too. Uh, uh, we had a group meeting uh, a couple weeks ago and. I had my hiking shoes on, like I do tonight. The, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, we got out there and just walked around and hiking Crocs. Yeah, <laughs> my pink hiking Crocs. Crocs. <laughs> um, and I didn't include a map, but for those that can picture the existing monkey crossing, with I guess you could call it a bridge. It's not a bridge, but you could call it that. I guess that's what it was intended to be. Um, if you're headed towards uh, Gates Hill. Uh, if you angle over to the left to uh, just five feet, there's a couple trees and you go between the trees is uh, a pathway uh, and it, it needs some work, it needs a span there, which I'll uh, suggest the proposal. Uh, I'll talk about the proposal in a second. It needs a span and it does need some triacs on the far side. Uh, you could put it where it currently is and the span would be okay the same type of span uh, would be okay uh, but then it needs uh, if we followed up it would need uh, probably a hundred feet of triax and stone and that's a moderate amount of material to get down in there on the area that Tim's talking about uh, there's two benefits one is it's a much shorter amount, a smaller amount of uh, tracks, maybe in the order of magnitude of 20 feet, 25 feet, something like that. So that's a much less amount of, uh, particularly known that the tracks is trivial to bring down. You carry that with a finger, um, but the, the the stone covering on it would 
be a little bit so that'd be much easier to get that down there but then it would go uh, uphill but then essentially be a diagonal uh, follow a contour line and <coughs> it'd be much more comfortable making that uh, passage except you get some uh, side slope and we would need to do a bench cut uh, but uh, we're talking about maybe a three foot wide bench cut in there and uh, depending upon the crew we can either do that by hand or we talked about potentially renting a, uh, a mini excavator to do that so um, but if we had I don't know four or five people it would probably take what a couple hours to do three yeah. feet something like that <coughs> if you got a good heavy-duty either uh, uh, Maddox yeah. uh, Maddox probably <coughs> the best tool. Maddox and, and an old axe for the roots yep um, so uh, it would be good to get that done in the not too distant future I'd like to have it done for the at, at least the crossing and I guess some semblance of the uh, bench cut um, so I don't know Anybody got any thoughts on the approach to the, the bench cut? Oh, l I'll talk about the crossing part of it, and then entail some money again here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we've got uh, 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 one of the, um, just like we used on the cross, the, uh, when we repaired the bridge going across the Canesto, I have some of that same material. It's four foot wide, two by two, heavy duty uh, uh, FRP grading. Uh, which would be ideal for that and we've got uh, fabric and uh, peace stone and all of that if we supposed to do it would be probably about uh, fourteen hundred dollars to get it to do that um, and no pond is a similar thing we got uh, 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 that that definitely needs, when we went down there, we, Steph and I went down with the horses, and if somebody <laughs> tries to go across that with a horse, uh, it could be really dangerous. Uh, of the priorities, I'd put that before Gates Hill. It'd be nice to get them both done. Uh, and getting the crossing repaired would be quick with the grading approach. Uh, the, uh, and both those could be done prior to a the horse ride that's going to be in there, but the uh, the wooden one on Mill Pond, uh, there's spots in there that a hoof could go right straight through it, and then if it gets stuck, you could potentially snap a leg or something. So, mm -hmm. quick question then: Is there a base date? I con I've contacted them, For and October I'm usually. Yes, right? and I contacted Becky. I haven't heard back from her, and she contributed significantly in the past to, the to this, bridge. and we also got money from I think. Cross the state. mountain bike, uh, what's that? Cross state, cross, cross state, the trail. other riding club. Oh, thing. cross state contributed. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, hi. Mm. Another. I don't know, Nimba. An another tool for working on the trail. Nimba <laughs> might. Well, I don't think we approached them in the past. No, they might. Yeah. Um, so, are you thinking for this fall to get that done? Yeah. Well, at least. Oh. Oh. What was that? Shovel. <laughs> I don't think this will help on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> so the Actually, I think that's <laughs> an old implement. I saw that in the John Adams thing. Yeah, that funny shape. I'll have to bring it next time. <laughs> we just did finally got to the John Adams homestead on oh. the weekend. Mm. Where, where is it? Quincy. It was a sure wonder. I think, yeah. Um, <coughs> Sort of a if if we're there. thinking about, yeah. well, we don't know whether or not Bay State would be willing to fund some or all of it, right? Right. Probably ought to make a request to Parks and Rec, say that we need these things need to be fixed because they're dangerous, yeah. and make a request so we don't run into a, well, you guys just go off and spend money and you didn't even, you know, ask us, mm. you know. Okay. So when this, it, I think I might go to the meeting. That would probably be more. Well, effective. I could I could write something up yeah. and then send it to you. Okay. That you could take to the well, meeting. Well, just when this one is presented, say that we have something in the works. Which meeting are you talking the about? Parks and Rec. 
You're she's, going to Parks and Rec? Why not? I think yeah, if they have she questions. Says. She says she's going to go to a Parks and Rec. You know, um, it might yeah. be helpful. And and it's like any other budget. We, we, we can think now, but we need to be thinking ahead, too. So that is in the immediate future, it sounds like. Though. Yeah, I, I'd like to get it done before that ride, that, which is uh, and there five, again. about six weeks away, something like could, that. Could, could it be fronted and then reimbursed, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So at least that gives us a little more flex flexibility for meeting times and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just you're just basically saying we're going to be this work needs to be done. Right. It's a liability issue. Right. Um, yeah, even the Gates Hill that that could be dangerous and yeah. And the issue is uh, horses can go through water and streams and stuff like crazy. We've all done lots of that, but just that's the Gates Hill one where where there. Are horse's hoof got stuck enough to rip off a shoe. Could hurt uh, the leg. It's just the same oh. kind of deal where that uh, crude crossing is right now. Mm. And so if you go off of that, it's all rocky and mucky and mm. and who knows what's down there relative to That's why Gates Hill was so dangerous. Steph, you, Steph and I used to ride it and then we stopped riding it because, mm. you know, one place would be firm, another place the horse's foot would go down up the, uh, the, the knee almost and so... I mean, I think it almost should be somewhat semi-formal written request or written written notification that we need to do these things to prevent Okay, so I, will, I can phrase this and, uh, and write I'll, it write I'll it to okay. uh, Parks and Rec. Is, yeah. that, is that how it gets addressed? I guess. I mean, this yeah. is uncharted. We haven't okay. really asked for money yeah, in quite some time, and that's, that's why the fund is as high as it is, which is you, good. You can ask for an agenda item just like... We make the agenda. Yeah. You introduce agenda items to whatever board or committee yep. you yeah. want to address it, and then it'll be formally there, and they can and it read it I and mean, debate I don't it. I don't think it needs to be in great detail. Just give them the total amounts. Yep. Mm -hmm. The prox estimated total yep. amount. At the same simultaneously, that we're presenting something from the past too that's already been done. So just that's the thousand dollars. Oh right. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, you know, the oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we'd ask on this one, but we didn't on that one. Well, but <laughs> just right. in that's what yeah. it's there for, though. Yeah. It's hay yeah. money, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And that gets replenished on yeah. a yeah. yearly basis. Sorry to interrupt, but when you guys leave, will you please lock up? Yeah. Yep. You bet. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Oh, we can do this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. so I'll write something up on that and then uh, get it to Susan. Um, and that's it uh, for new business that I've got. Anybody else have topics? Actually, <laughs> it's short, though. Um, the Rider Fund. The family gave around, I think it was 6000 and I don't even know when that was given, but I thought there's got to be a Hubbardson connection, right? Why would they do that? So I looked in the Stowe history, and Ryder in the genealogy was Reverend Almanzo Ryder. He married Sophia Thomas, see chapter 10, and um, they had three children, Elliot, Mary, and Howard, and this was in... 1856, 57, 59, then they moved to Boston because in chapter 10 they were talking about the various uh, reverends. And June 20, 1855, Reverend A.S. Almanza, what was his name? Almanza, Almanza. Um, S. Ryder was ordained as pastor of the church and parish. He was an earnest worker and made many friends. He was dismissed December 1, 1860, and it sounded then like they moved to Boston. But then, in the more recent history, there was no writer in the genealogy. So oh. there's mm -hmm. a big gap there. So maybe there isn't a connection, but I'm guessing there is. Yeah. Writer, mm -hmm. R-Y-D-E-R. -R. Mm -hmm. So he was a pastor. Interesting. And you yeah. could do a lot of digging. Genealogies are much more important than you think. They are. I know they I'm sound dry, but you're oh just no, yeah. they're fascinating. Yeah, mm -hmm. if it's accurate, that's the thing. Right? So. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, remember that calendar then. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of calendars. What? Next meeting. Twenty sixth. Oh. Twenty <laughs> sixth. How about the twenty sixth? That's on the last Thursday of September. 
Uh, CPC has a meeting that night, the annual meeting, but so she can't make it if we do it. That's that all right. Um, well, I, I have a very good messenger that can. <laughs> but they may need the space too. I don't know if um, mm. what's her name already. S I'll ask. I'll check with her. What's her name? The the lady that lives on High Street, Danielle Arakili. That Arikalian. lady. Yes, that lady. So that is our annual meeting, which is mandated by the state. Mm. So. A meeting with relative a meeting space. Just uh, they were supposed to share with the community what we're doing, what we oh. have done, get ideas, but nobody shows up. So, <laughs> but oh. technically we still have to have it. Okay. So, so 26th anyway. then? Yes, it's a Thursday night, right? right. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is appropriate to, to bring up, but I was wondering about make, making a motion that um, Bob send a letter on behalf of the Open Space Committee to DPW to thank them for the mm. all the mowing. Yes. Uh, that oh, they yeah. do. that you know, would be nice. It's been a, it was a, started out as a pretty wet year and the grass was growing like crazy and they've done a fantastic job uh, keeping all the trails open. Um, they also I don't know if any you've been up to see it but they brought up some millings um, to put on the driveway at gates. So the yeah. big mm. mud puddle yeah, is gone. Big, oh, oh, good, oh, good. Yeah. Finally, oh. that's only taken that three years. That was slick. <laughs> we know, <That's> huh? Awesome. <laughs> that area, I've gotten stuck there twice. So I don't know. Would that, would that be really? appropriate? Yeah, and, and they just did that on their own. As far as I know, yeah. Well, I, uh, we, yeah, yes, they did. Okay. Because they um, went up there to. Because actually, when I out. was talking to Travis about getting all the concrete debris out. Um, I mentioned something to him about uh, if he had any fill for the, uh, that huge mud puddle there. And, uh, and he remembered and that? He, and That's he, uh, at that in time, said, yeah, I'm going to take care of that. And he did. So Maybe well he used the millings from the <laughs> concrete. <Yeah. laughs> Could be. <laughs> Could be. Well, then that that is a really that would, good idea. That would be very appropriate. Because they took that initiative without us having to mention it or remind them so good idea concur with all right i can draft Tim's a letter to suggest to the dpw and uh how would that go to go th through the uh select board i mean somehow i'd want to get uh if it just goes to travis <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, yeah. copy it to I think it would probably you be, be you want to be kind of public right? yeah. yeah yeah copy the select board and then uh, and Nate yeah mm -hmm. Travis's boss yeah mm -hmm. Nate's Travis's boss Just and maybe some donuts <laughs> we, did, we did that a few years ago remember? yeah because yeah. we, we what took was some donuts. it was it winter time though wasn't it I don't remember no we need for the same thing just yeah. because just they did such thank a good you. job yeah. yeah do we need a vote I don't think so. Uh, no. Huh? no, I don't think we need a okay. vote on that. Right. In that case, I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.